guys welcome back to my channel my name is Laddie for those of you who don't know me I do crochet vlogs and a bunch of other stuff lifestyle vlogs if you're new here don't forget to subscribe hit the button that looks like this if you're not new here welcome back hey guys how are we I'm gonna do this one more time first of all I'm tired I just came back from Joanne's look at the shirt I'm wearing hooked on chai and crochet because I love chais my dog's name is Chai, and it's brown. I went to Joanne's. Here's my haul. This video is going to be me trying. If you're seeing this, I did it. We made a wearable. That's why you're seeing this. If you're not seeing this, then this is just lost somewhere. In the abyss of things that I've started and have not finished. Don't mind my lips. They're super crusty and burnt. But whatever. So I got some of this like new variated yarn from Burnett Blanket. This is not what I'm using for my wearable, but I saw this yarn, so had to get it. Got this one too in like the pink. Super cute. Love these colors. Baby Blanket yarn, in my opinion, is a little bit softer than the regular Burnett Blanket. Just my, just what I've seen. But so I got this cotton pink yarn. This one's recycled cotton polyester blend re-up. Um... It's the Lion brand. I just like the color. It's like a mauve color. I don't know if I'm going to use that one. I hope it's enough. And then I got the sugar and cream in this blue. And I thought this would be really cute. I don't know which, I'm, which one I'm going to use yet. And I'm figuring out what type of wearable I want to make, I think. I asked my beautiful friend, Danielle, who makes wearables nonstop. And I trust her with all my life. And I was like, what do you think I should do? Because I tried to make one for Oscar. Failed. Tried to make a, a reg, raglon. Reglion? Don't know how to say it. I didn't have the patience for it. So they're in the abyss of garments that, you know, I've started and haven't finished. So who knows if I'm going to finish this one. I'm in one of those moods today where I'm like still like recovering. And like I want to crochet, but I just don't want to crochet any plushies right now. Oh! I don't think I'd ever say that in my life. There's nothing wrong with plushies. I just like need something different and I'm going to Mexico in a couple weeks and I really, really want to have as many crochet like um, items to wear as I can. But yeah, so let's get into this video and I'm going to show you guys me trying to do this, I guess. Okay, so I got both. I got two patterns. I'm in between this one and this one. You guys can see it. It's up on the screen. And th both of these are from, let me read the name. You guys have see it right now. Let's see. Um, this is from Jules Makes. I will leave it in the description box below if you see it. I'm a, I am a beginner, beginner when it comes to wearables. Beginner. Like, begin, begin before that. All right? So I see all of my girls on my Patreon. They're making their cardigans, and I want one. But my patience is like so so bad so I'm out of breath I'm a little excited I'm thinking I'm gonna do this one this one where it does a little tie I'm gonna feel cute and I'm thinking of making it in this like mauve color now Lord help me I hope that this is enough yarn this is you guys are gonna probably laugh at me 651 yards Please tell me that that's enough, please. Because there was only this one left and if I have to order this and if I don't have enough, I will scream. <laughs> okay, looks like I'm gonna be using a three millimeter hook today. I usually don't use these hooks anymore because I'm usually using my O-Fire hooks, but O-Fire doesn't make anything that small, so I have to go back to use this one, which is fine because I actually like this one a good amount. This is what I used to use all the time. So we're using a three and a half or a three millimeter hook, um, if you know, letter terminology it's a d and then um some scissors and a measuring tape and let's get into this video it is currently 4 p.m we'll see how many days this takes me i'm really hoping it doesn't take a long time please please <laughs> crochet gods if you're listening be on my side okay so i had to measure myself and i had to get my chest i had to get the length of the sleeves that I wanted, 
whether I want them short or long. I really want them long. If I'm too lazy, they will be short. <laughs> um, my arm hole measurement and um, my length from shoulder to here. So I'm probably gonna do it 21 inches. Guys, I'm a little nervous. I saw this girl, so it's called Jules Makes, right? And she has like, when you purchase her pattern, she has a lookbook, right? So you can download it and it shows you how all the different people who have made it for different um, people. And then some people have made it for little girls. So I'm like, oh my God, if I know how to do this, maybe I'll make one for Layla, for my little niece. That's, that's thinking in the future because you already know. My ass says she's gonna do something and she doesn't do it. <laughs> Anyways, but let's get started. Send me all the good vibes right now. Send them right now. Comment down below if you think I'm going to do it. Comment down below how many mental breakdowns you think I will have making this. Also, if my eyebrows look crusty and they, please do not judge me. I got them microbladed and like they're literally scabbing. They look a little crazy. But it is what it is. Beautiful. minutes later li <laughs> literally 20 minutes later I have row one 20 minutes and only one row I'm done I'm just kidding here we go I'm gonna keep going this is what I have three hours of work the I got so far <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. Um, I think this is probably like four and a half inches of work. And this is why wire bowls are the bane of my existence. But look how cute this color is. And then I think I'm doing a good job. It's requiring a lot of V stitches. So that's why it looks like that. But I think I'm doing a good job. And Chai Chai's smelling me. You can't see her. Oh, there's yarn all over her. Um, but I will be with the check in either tonight or tomorrow. We'll it's the next day. I ended up working on, I believe, the piece for five hours. Because I started at four, almost five, right? So like 4.30 or something. So 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30. Oh, 6.30. Six hours. So six hours. And this is what I got. So I know it doesn't look like much, but my it's looking just like the photo. So... Now I have to do this on this side. That's today's, we'll see how I'm feeling. Before I start this time-lapse, 
Can we take a moment? I think I'm doing really good on these stitches. Not too shabby for someone who doesn't do wearables, all right? I'm proud of myself. Okay, so this is what I'm at right now. Hold on. So you guys saw that I had one side done and now I have two sides done. Look at that. And these are supposedly like the armhole sides. So this is how this is gonna have like be for my arm. So that's my little update. I'm gonna keep going. So far, I'm pleasantly surprised. Fingers crossed I don't jinx myself. I'm just gonna go back to crochet. <laughs> the bad lighting right now, but I've kept on working. I have officially two armholes. You see? And I was measuring this baby out. So like at this point, I'm just kind of doing the repetitive thing and trying to make this longer and longer. And right now it's at, I think it's like 14 inches right now. Yeah, it's like hitting almost like a little over 14 and I want it to be at 20. So I still have another six inches to go, but so far so good. Day two, I need to eat some dinner, but after I'm done eating, I'm gonna hit this again and we'll see how far I can get. And then I think tomorrow will be when I hit um, what's it called? The sleeves. I'm still figuring out whether I want to do short sleeve or long sleeve. And then obviously this is where this baby's going to like tie up. So I'm actually super proud of myself. And this color, great choice. Okay, life kind of hit me like a bus yesterday. So I kind of like stopped crocheting. Oh my God. Why is it that as soon as I start filming my eyes, can I take? Oh. <sighs> Oh, girl. Guys, Tinky's with me. Oh, she's moving. She wasn't moving a little while ago. Can you guys see Tinky Wink on the couch? Tinky Wink, you were just saying down. Go lay down. Okay, hold on. I'm going to show you guys what I have. Okay, so this is what I have so far. It's starting to look like a shirt. Right now it looks like a little vest. Look at this. Guys. This length looks pretty good. I don't know if I want to keep going. I, well actually no, I'm going to try it on first before I say that and then I cut it and then I make a mistake. So guys, it's coming together. Look, wait, low key. The only reason why I'm going to make it longer than this is because on the pattern it said that it shrinks. So you want to make it a little bit bigger than what you want it to be. But hold on. So it's going to have a little tie right here. <laughs> Evil laugh. I'm just kidding. Guys, I get it now. I get what? I get the wearables now. Do I still have the patience for them? I don't know. I also got this color to make a different shirt. But am I going to do that? I don't know. Because knowing my ass. But look how cute this color is. Hold on. I kind of like this length. Before yesterday, it was like all the way up here. The lights had already like the brightness of the day had gone down. So that's why I couldn't show you guys. But look at this. Guys, I'm so proud of myself right now. This is so cute. I love this color. All I have left. And I don't honestly, I honestly don't know if this is going to be enough for my long sleeves that I want. And I, there was only one of these left at, um, no, this was the only one left at Joanne's. So I honestly don't even know if any of the Joanne's near me are going to have this. So I'm probably going to have to do short sleeves. Ones that kind of go just to like right here. And then I still have to do like, uh, because it doesn't look just like this. Like, this is cute how it is. But there's another row I think that's going to go around here. Kind of like the border. That's super cute. And I don't want to run out of this. And I made this a little oversized. As you can see, like it's not super tight. I made it, 
I think an extra like five inches in width for myself because I like I don't love things that are super tight and I want it to be flowy when I'm on the beach <gasps> guys this is so cute and it feels comfortable I'm so proud of myself I'm gonna I'll check in in a little bit I'm about to throw myself against this wall this is how much I have left and I still have to make the sleeves <laughs> I could scrub! But, let me show you guys. Hold on. I just finished. So, from what you guys saw last time, this is what I have now. And you'll be able to see, I still don't have the sleeves. <laughs> but, I have the border started. I have one more row, and then I can finish this. And then the bottom, I hope you guys are this like, look at the bottom. <gasps> Cute. I didn't know how I was going to do this like border, but it was actually really easy. It, they used a peacot, peacot, P-I-C-O-T stitch. Peacot. And I did that all over the bottom. But. This is all I have left. And this, I think at the beginning of this video, I said it had like 600 yards. So, my math was severely wrong. I thought I would have more than enough. So now, I have to finger cross myself that I thought I was gonna get done today, this beautiful cardigan. I was wrong. I have to see if my joins even has this color. What am I gonna do if it doesn't have this color? It's gonna, I don't <laughs> It's gonna look so funny if I put a random ass color on the sleeves. Like if it, was, it wasn't it was intentional. I know it could work, but then also like, I just don't have enough so that it could blend. This is what happens when I try to do a wearable. I had high hopes today, I really did. So, I will be back. We have finished the broider, the broider? the border of it i added the two little strings so now look oh my god I'm gonna freaking fall still need to take off all the stitch markers but look at this <sighs> isn't she gorgeous now i have to do the sleeves i went and picked up another roll of this yarn if you're wondering what yarn I'm using, I'm using the recycled cotton polyester blend from Reup, the Lion brand yarns. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And this is the color Rosewater. So this is cute. Now I have to just work on the sleeves, so. I generally thought that today would be reveal day and I was gonna be like, look guys, I made a wearable. I messed up on the arms. I tried to make the arms yesterday and I like did like a little try on. I was like, oh my gosh, didn't fit this girthy arm that I have. So right now it still looks like a nice little muscle tee and I want to add sleeves. So this is day two of me trying to make it. Um, I'm incredibly proud of what I've gotten done so far. I just, Y'all who make wearables. I did make mine a little oversized because it says that it shrinks. So I'm hoping that like once I like wash it and stuff. But so far I've liked it. So far I really like the color. This is how much I have left. And my brain is contemplating making one for Tink. If you don't know who Tink is, that's my chihuahua. How mother effing cute would it be if I made her one? Hello? I don't know. I need to figure out these arms before I even think about making one for a dog. Like, seriously, Larissa. So, look. Let me show you proof that I messed up. Look at all this yarn that I... What is that calling? What do you call that? Frogging? Look at this. And I'm like, please don't make a knot. Please. Y'all see this? <laughs> I had to start over again, mind you. But I think I got the hang of it now. Um, 
this is what I have so far. So this is the side that doesn't have anything. And this is the side that has, look, you can see it looks like one. And I kind of want to see where this one is. I think I've done two inches. I kind of want to see if I like that or if I want to go a little longer. <gasps> okay. I think, I need to look in the mirror. Loki? Because I was trying to figure out whether I want to do long sleeve or short sleeve. And I'm taking this on like a vacation. So I'm like, maybe I don't want a long sleeve because then it's going to get hot. You know what I mean? So at least, all I know is I do have like a big old hole right here. Like, what? don't know where that, but it's for me, so it's okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? I kind of like that. I think that's cute. And then I'm going to add the ribbing. Mm, I'll figure it out. I honestly think, I don't know, I think it's two different pinks. Like, my brain is, oh, I don't know. In some lights, it looks like lighter pink. Also, the lighting, like, there's clouds going over the center or whatever, but look at this. Uh, it looks like a sleeve. At first I was like, that does not look like a sleeve. I added another row since the last time you guys saw, and then I added the border. So look, this is a side, obviously, with nothing. And then this is the side where it's finished. Beautiful, if I do say so myself. I'm really happy. Now I just gotta finish this one, and then I'm done. I've made my first wearable. Thank you. I wanna thank... I want to sit here and I want to thank my mom. I want to thank Danielle for believing in me. I want to thank all of the people out there because this might be the last time I ever make something that I wear. I much prefer to buy it from somebody else. But it was fun. <laughs> oh, not the cheeses box. <laughs> She's done. I did it! I made myself a wearable, ladies and gents. I did it. Took about four or five days. Um, it could have probably took less if I really, really like tried it. And I was doing it at the beginning, but my attention span. But guys, what do we think? Are we proud of me? I'm proud of myself. I feel so pretty. I love this color. I don't know. I do think these are two different pinks. They, I think they are. But it's too late now. And I love it. I'm very, very happy with it. Leave me in the comments down below what you guys think. Maybe I'll make another one worth long sleeves. But I ended up deciding one. My brain could not fathom making arm length ones and I'm going to Mexico and I'm hoping to take this so it's gonna be hot but guys look <laughs> I'm so proud of myself thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know what you think in the comments down below if you're new here don't forget to subscribe hit the button that looks like this and I will see you guys on the next one bye